tonight's main event is truly a story told of devastation and brutality. For these two superstars, Sheamus and Karrion Cross, they have found themselves intertwined in each other's destinies time and time again, and it has finally reached its breaking point. For Karrion Cross, a sinister mastermind who has plotted to use Sheamus as his own puppet in a game of hidden messages and greed. The Harbinger of Doom, time and time again, has tried to use the Celtic Warrior as a stepping stone in his own career. But Sheamus has never been one to lie down for anyone. This brawling group is hell-bent on getting his final retribution and closing the book on this tumultuous story. When the cold, unforgiving steel cage is lowered, will these fighters plan their sly escape to victory? Or will the last man standing be the man who forced the other to their limits? It's Karrion Cross versus Sheamus, and it's right here on Monday Night Raw! We are live from the scope in Norfolk, Virginia, less than two weeks away for the 2024 Backlash! The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin. And of course, coming up one week from Saturday in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Kevin Owens will defend the WWE Championship in a fatal four-way match against the almighty Bobby Lashley, the mega superstar, LA Knight, and of course, the former champion, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Those three challengers have not only seen the target on the back of Kevin Owens over the last few weeks, but have been at each other's throats individually, week in and week out, not only here on Monday Night Raw, but even last week on Velocity. We're going to take a look at that in mere moments. But it is going to be a hot and heavy night of action here on Raw, a loaded match card ahead. Kevin Owens, your WWE Champion, set to kick things off in singles action. And after that tag team victory, Carmelo Hayes and Seth Rollins defeating Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn last week. Owens gonna get a crack at Carmelo Hayes' usual running buddy, Trick Williams, looking to bounce back after his loss last week on Velocity. And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams. Let us take you back to last Wednesday, only over on TikTok. Trick Williams one on one with the megastar LA Knight, only on velocity. LA Knight picking up a huge victory. Momentum certainly on the side of the defiant one on the road to backlash. But after the bell, LA Knight jumped from behind by Seth freaking Rollins, the visionary who has been targeting LA Knight as really anybody who is getting in his way of getting back the WWE Championship that he lost at WrestleMania. Remember, Seth Rollins and LA Knight came to blows in the aisleway several weeks ago, moments after LA Knight's victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, history repeating itself in a sense last Wednesday afternoon on Velocity, but that was then, this is now, and we are kicking things off from the scope in Norfolk, Virginia. The WWE Champion Kevin Owens is in action against Trick Williams. And Williams coming hot out of the gate. You notice Carmelo Hayes not at ringside tonight. Trick Williams going it alone against the prize fighter. I want to welcome you to Monday Night Raw. We are less than two weeks away from the Backlash event in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Coming up on Saturday night, April the 13th. And of course, we are one week away from the live premiere taking place right here on Monday Night Raw next week, the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. The landscape is going to change just seven nights from tonight, right here on the red brand. But as for tonight here in the scope, Kevin Owens looking to keep his momentum high on the road to backlash. And really what we should say is get his momentum back on track. I'll bite. Wasn't the one pinned seven nights ago in the tag team matchup, but obviously was on the losing end 
alongside Sami Zayn in that tag team bout. Gotta believe the ups and downs are on the mind of Kevin Owens as he soars through the sky, goes up and comes down on Trick Williams. Kevin Owens, the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner. Main event at WrestleMania Sunday to win the championship. We're gonna keep his championship aspirations alive on the road to backlash. Well, nonetheless, still to come tonight, Big Bronson Reed, we're gonna continue his momentum since his Raw return as he takes on the sinister Joe Gacy. And also coming up, the WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan, we're gonna build momentum towards her defensive backlash. Goes one on one against Sonya Deville, the striker. Should be a very interesting contest coming up later tonight, right here on Monday Night Raw. Ooh. Mean drop kick by Trick Williams. Of course, all that action and your main event still to come as we saw in the opening moments, the steel cage matchup between the Celtic warrior Sheamus and the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross. A lot of history between those two men. It is finally gonna come to a halt right here tonight in Norfolk, Virginia. Meanwhile, Kevin Owens from the top with the Swanton. Maybe another loss in less than a week's time for Trick Williams. Not just yet, Trick getting the shoulder up. Trick fell short trying to take down LA Knight last week on Velocity. Kevin Owens looking to give Trick yet another loss. Give it a stunner and give it a cover. The WWE Champion looking to make short work of his opponent tonight. Kevin Owens with a, oh wait a minute. The almighty Bobby Lashley, one of Kevin Owens' opponents. Less than two weeks from now, it's San Juan, Puerto Rico. Bobby Lashley making his presence felt and sending a message to Kevin Owens that whether it's one-on-one -on -one like Lashley wanted or the fatal four-way that we get, the WWE Championship may be heading to the almighty. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. With so much action on hand tonight in the scope, we are gonna keep the ball rolling here on Monday Night Raw. Ashante the Adonis drawing the unlucky straw if you ask me. He's got the tall task of the returning enforcer, Solo Sikoa. That is a opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikoa. The last time we saw Solo Sikoa was on WrestleMania Sunday. One-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley in that no-holds-barred match. The conclusion to a damn near eight-month war with Bobby Lashley here on Monday Night Raw. Solo falling short on the grandest stage. His first WrestleMania did not go how the street champ would have liked. A few weeks off. Now Solo Sokoa makes his way back to Monday Night Raw tonight. And look at it come back in full force, I am sure. Wait a minute here. Oh, my God. Ashante the Adonis. Was he got the biggest balls in the room going after Solo Sokoa before the bell even sounded? Who the hell does this guy think he is? I would not call that wise decision making, especially when your opponent is the enforcer, Solo Sokoa, who I was just getting around to mention, probably is not in a good mood tonight. First time Solo is gracing the squared circle since WrestleMania and Ashante the Adonis wants to take a cheap shot? Certainly not the way I would have saw it going. And Solo Sokoa not gonna take lightly to that. 
We saw some highlights of the destruction that Solo has caused over his last 12 months here on Monday Night Raw since his debut last March, last week. And Solo Sokoa is looking to kick off his 2024-2025 season tonight in full force. Looking to send a message to the Monday Night Raw locker room that the street champ is back and here to take no prisoners. Oh no, what has Solo got in mind? Heading to the top rope. Meanwhile, Ashante's on the outside. Solo dropping the hammer. You think Solo Sokoa came for collar and elbows and headlocks tonight? I would think otherwise. Ashante the Adonis is going to live to regret the day he ever stepped inside the ring with Solo Sokoa and tried to get the upper hand before the bell sounded. This has been all Solo Sokoa since that opening flurry from Ashante and Solo dropping an elbow right on the leg. I think Solo trying to make sure that Ashante isn't going to walk out of the scope tonight. Solo Sokoa going for an early pinfall there. Even somebody like Ashante the Adonis who hasn't seen too much action here on Monday Night Raw has probably got a little bit more left in the tank. And of course, a victory over Solo. Easier said than done. Thrust kick and a Samoan splash. And I believe it is academic from here. You may as well count to 20. Somebody, somebody get the shovel to get a Shante off the canvas. Here is your winner, Solo Sokoa. Solo Sokoa making a short order of Ashante tonight. Back for the first time since WrestleMania and sending a message, the street champ is back in action. Well, next Monday night, we're gonna be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. Superstars from Raw and SmackDown will be under one roof just days before Backlash. What is going to happen when the landscape changes forever at the Draft Lottery next Monday night? Ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back over the last few weeks and take a look at the recent history on the road to Tiffany Stratton's contest with Liv Morgan for the WWE Women's Championship a week from Sunday in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Tiffany Stratton winning the Battle Royal back in Madison Square Garden by lastly eliminating Cora Jade, somebody in Cora who took on Liv just seven days later. A non-title matchup all bite, but still made some noise here on Monday Night Raw. But even in Jade's pursuit of victory, the champion Liv Morgan turning away the challenge. But it was not meant without a reminder by the buff Barbie herself that the number one contender is looking to become champion. Stratton sending a message to Liv and continuing to play mind games with not only Liv Morgan, but the entire division here on Raw last week. Tiffany Stratton was set for a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Cora Jade, but out came a substitute. How Stratton pulled this off, I still don't know. The return of Chelsea Green, making her first appearance here on Monday Night Raw back in the WWE fold. Chelsea Green giving a fight to the generation of Jade. Fortunately for Cora, able to think on her feet, able to keep down the woman from the north. Cora Jade picking up a victory last week. I'll bite. I smell some jealousy between Tiffany Stratton. Cora's been getting some spotlight here on Monday Night Raw. I don't think the number one contender likes it very much. Nonetheless, it is time for the champion to come on down. It is coming up a week from Saturday at Backlash, the WWE Women's Championship on the line as Liv Morgan defends the gold for the first time since WrestleMania against the Buff Barbie, the number one contender, Tiffany Stratton. The question remains, will it be Tiffy time in San Juan, Puerto Rico? One week from Saturday, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Questions that we need answers to, but first things first, Liv's got her hands full tonight in the scope. Well, 
Well, Sonia is making her way down the aisle. We want to inform you that this Wednesday, only on TikTok on Velocity, you can see Dirty Dominic Mysterio from the Judgment Day alongside Rhea Ripley in action against Apollo Crews. Two Monday Night Raw superstars set to collide this Wednesday afternoon, only on TikTok. Follow us at No Nation Gaming. Check out all the previous episodes. Dominic and Cruz clash this Wednesday on Velocity. But tonight here in the scope in Norfolk, as we mentioned, is an action-packed night still to come. A steel cage encounter between the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Alongside Big Brunson Reed, set for his third match since his Monday Night Raw return. As he takes on Joe Gacy. That's all still to come tonight, but right here, right now, Sonya Deville locking horns with the WWE Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. A chance for Liv Morgan to build some momentum towards Backlash tonight, but also a chance for her momentum to go up in smoke by hands of Sonya Deville. Somebody who we haven't seen too much of as of late here on Monday Night Raw, Deville. Could be an opportunity for her to get back to the spotlight. A victory over the champion. You gotta believe would put Sonya in line for a future championship opportunity in her own right. All remains to be seen, and of course, easier said than done. Liv Morgan did what many thought was the impossible back on WrestleMania Saturday. And that was turning away the Judgment Day's Rhea Ripley and ending her championship reign on the grandest stage of them all. If Liv Morgan can pull that off, there may be nothing impossible for the champion, including trying to get through Sonya Deville tonight. You never want to jump to conclusions on any given Monday night. You could see an upset here on Monday Night Raw. Just because the gold is around the waist of Liv Morgan doesn't mean her mind is with this matchup tonight. For all we know, Liv Morgan could already be focusing on Backlash a week from Saturday in her matchup against Tiffany Stratton. A distraction like that could be enough for Sonya Deville to capitalize and take down the champion here on Monday Night Raw. As this matchup progresses, ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you once more, next Monday night is going to be a big one. We are going to be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. Who is going to end up where? We find out next week. And, of course, all roads lead to backlash. Saturday night, April the 13th, another live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time from the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Backlash shaping up to be an extraordinary event. Will Liv Morgan be going into that event a week from Saturday with her hand raised high or will her head be hanging low in shame? Depends on the result of this matchup here tonight. And it's Sonya Deville trying to throw hands with Liv Morgan. We saw Cora Jade trying to do this two weeks ago. Liv took her lights out with a spin kick. Let's see if Sonya did her homework, that MMA background. I don't know if Liv Morgan is going to get the best of this one here. Sonya throwing some strikes. Who's going to be able to capitalize? And it's Liv Morgan. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, wait a minute. The number one contender, Tiffany Stratton, once again making her presence felt. Well, the buff Barbie has been playing some mind games, if I say so myself, over the last few weeks with the champion. And the distraction might have tossed the champion, Sonya Deville, from behind. Liv Morgan looking up at the lights of the scope. Into the cover goes John Cone. And Liv Morgan able to get the shoulder up even off the distraction and the attack from her opponent. Tiffany Stratton stood toe to toe with the champion two weeks ago. And then of course that substitute in the matchup against Cora Jade last week. Tiffany Stratton wanted to avoid in-ring action before her championship bout. Liv Morgan out here doing her damnedest tonight, but Stratton still trying to play with the strings of Liv Morgan. Liv just got to find her way back into this matchup. Momentarily turned in to a two-on-one situation. But Sonya's chance might have gone up in smoke. Code breaker by Liv. Will that lead to victory? A signature maneuver out of the champion's arsenal, but it's been some time since Sonya Deville has been here on Raw, and she is not looking to come back with a disappointing defeat. Back into the corner she goes. Liv Morgan getting fired up here in the scope, especially after looking toe-to-toe -to -toe with the woman she fights at Backlash. Fortunately, not to be. 
Quick sidestep by Sonya Deville, and Deville has taken back the momentum in this very contest. We've seen some great action under the Monday Night Raw Women's Division over the last few weeks. Cora Jade's been making some noise. Win, lose, or draw here on Monday Night Raw. Chelsea Green returning last week. Sonya Deville looking for her opportunity tonight. Tiffany Stratton going to get her opportunity when the lights are on bright in the Coliseum a week from Saturday. But only one woman stands at the front line, stands at the top of the division. And that is the woman in the half black, half jean. Rocking the denim is the champion. And now from the heights of the top rope with the superplex. Sonya Deville with her back against the wall. Liv Morgan, massive superplex and continuing on the offense. I'll tell you, looking in the eyes of the challenger for Backlash and Tiffany Stratton might have lit a fire under the champion to send the biggest message she could. Oblivion! Sonya Deville put up a fight, but Liv Morgan may be on the best winning streak of her career. You gotta wonder if Tiffany Stratton is biting off more than she can chew, trying to play mind games with somebody who was able to survive the nightmare Rhea Ripley back in WrestleMania. If Liv can pull off that feat, anything may be possible. Here is your winner, Liv Morgan. But of course you cannot discount the woman Liv Morgan faces a week from Saturday. A former NXT Women's Champion, the woman who outlasted seven others in the Battle Royal three weeks ago in Madison Square Garden. Will Liv Morgan and her championship reign continue on? Or will we be living in tippy time a week from Saturday at Backlash? Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. It is coming up one week from Saturday, April the 13th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the 2024 Backlash, and it is shaping up to be an extraordinary event. The World Tag Team Championship from Monday Night Raw set to be defended. Main event, Jey Uso, alongside his brother Jimmy. Take on Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits, who's leaving Puerto Rico with a tag team gold. Liv Morgan successful moments ago, but will her streak of momentum continue or will it be tippy time in Puerto Rico? Tiffany Stratton takes on Liv Morgan for the WWE Women's Championship. We found out this past Friday night on SmackDown, Zelina Vega declaring number one contendership after surviving the gauntlet matchup. But will she be able to survive Shayna Baszler and become the women's world champion? Another matchup confirmed this past weekend. It is an ambulance match between the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and the Apex Predator Randy Orton. These two men have been at it for upwards of three months. Something's gotta give. Who is gonna be leaving Puerto Rico in an ambulance? What about this collision from Friday Night SmackDown? For the first time in over two years, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns returns to action as he takes on the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Those two men meeting after their wage of wars, trying to contest for the World Heavyweight Championship. But the man who will do so is the badass Braun Breaker. Breaker gets his opportunity at destiny when he meets Gunther for the big gold belt. And it is the fatal four-way matchup for the WWE title. Kevin Owens defends the gold against Seth freaking Rollins, the megastar LA Knight, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. Owens has had a target on his back. All three of these challengers looking to leave Puerto Rico with Kevin Owens' respective WWE gold. 
All that action coming your way a week from Sunday at Backlash, but there is still much more to come on the road to Puerto Rico, and still much more to come right here in the scope on Monday Night Raw. Joe Gacy returning to the squared circle for the first time since WrestleMania, and looking to bounce back in his own way. Singles action, no alliance with Karrion Cross or Baron Corbin. That seems to be up in smoke. He is set to take on Big Brunson Reed, Mono e Mono, here tonight in Norfolk, Virginia. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Brunson Reed. Big Brunson Reed returning to the WWE and debuting on Monday Night Raw. Just a few weeks ago in Madison Square Garden, a big time victory over the former WWE Champion in The Miz, Brunson Reed continuing that momentum. A couple of weeks ago on Velocity with a victory over Baron Corbin. And now the big man back on Monday Night Raw tonight, looking to keep that winning streak alive as he takes on Joe Gacy. They see Corbin and Cross at a loose alliance going into WrestleMania, but I think after that failure on the grandest stage, that alliance has gone up in smoke. Kerry and Cross are going to take care of business in his own way later tonight. Joe Gacy focusing on his own path that leads him down the road against Bronson Reed here on Monday Night Raw. Certainly not a roadblock anybody wants to run into, but nonetheless, here we go. Gacy hot out of the gate with the pump kick. And this is what you gotta do. You wanna try to keep down a former NXT North American champion, a man who has traveled the globe in recent years, contesting against some of the best in the world. Gacy coming out with a fire within him tonight. Joe Gacy looking for his pound of flesh, looking for his opportunity here on Monday Night Raw. Sees the momentum that Bronson Reed has been building and Gacy trying to build his own off big Bronson Reed's behalf. There's one thing Reed has proved over the last several weeks since his return is that victory over him is easier said than done. One thing to knock down the big man, whole nother thing to try to keep him there. Joe Gacy's only been around here on Monday Night Raw for a handful of months. Made his debut back in December. He's certainly made some waves ever since then. But Gacy looking to remind the Monday Night Raw audience just what he is capable of. Impressive moonsault whether you like him or not. Off the middle rope as well. Reed going to the outside. I think trying to shake the cobwebs off. Joe Gacy got to give him credit. Keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Big Bronson Reed back up against the wall figuratively and literally may not have been expecting this fire out of Gacy here in the scope. Reed has been impressive since his return as we mentioned. Victory over Baron Corbin two weeks ago on Velocity. Victory over The Miz back in Madison Square Garden, but now runs into Joe Gacy tonight, who in recent months has tangled with the likes of Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and so many more. Bronson Reed, however, forcing himself upon Gacy, allowing Gacy to run into him. Reed, oh my goodness, look at the power of the big man. And a close call there. Gacy getting the shoulder off the canvas. Bronson Reed, like a ton of bricks, knocking down Gacy. Joe Gacy was hot out of the gate. Reed is completely, just in a matter of a few moments, turned the matchup on its head. What a cross body from the big man. Well, there's one thing about Bronson Reed that he has proven in his time at NXT and has proven here on Monday Night Raw, agile is all hell. Joe Gacy skinning the cat, proving his agility. Discus Larry at that time. Oh man, we got a heavyweight versus super heavyweight bout, and these two horses throwing down here in the scope. Gacy, another close call that time. Yeah, we may be seeing Brunson Reed's first demise since his return before our very eyes tonight. Joe Gacy not able to put Reed away, and there's another lariat. And back and forth, these Louisville sluggers start to swing. Well, baseball season just started. Who's going to hit the home run tonight? These guys going up to the plate and looking to knock one out of the park. Muscling up Joe Gacy, 
Bronson Reed, strong, agile, big as all hell. Hanging him up with a top rope. Simple yet effective maneuver. May pay him dividends. Not the three count he was hoping for. Gacy stepping up to Bronson Reed tonight. Won the challenge himself. Trying to get himself back on track. Bronson Reed with other plans. These two men just running into each other. Gacy to the ropes again, and Reed just leveling Gacy. Reminding Joe that if he wants to step up to the plate, he better come correct. Bronson Reed drilling Gacy into the canvas with the air raid crash. And not even going for the cover. Reed looking to stack the offense, realizing Gacy's giving him a fight here tonight in scope. Joe Gacy may rue the day. He stepped up and signed the papers to a challenge against Big Brunson Reed. Joe Gacy is no small man. Reed just ragged all the moments ago. Speaks volumes on the talent of the big man. Senton into the cover once more. But Gacy's still alive. Shocking as all hell if you ask me. Reed, now what is got in mind? Wheels are turning. Oh, wait a minute. Heading to the top rope. Tsunami! Joe Gacy giving it a fight, but I don't know if anybody can survive that tidal wave that just came crashing down. This Aussie Haas, Big Brunson Reed, continuing to send noise, make waves here on Monday Night Raw. Add Joe Gacy to the list. Who the hell is going to step up and put a stop to the momentum of Big Brunson Reed? We are live next week for Monday Night Raw and just five nights before Backlash. The WWE Champion Kevin Owens is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. What a main event that's going to be next Monday night on Raw. And also signed just days before the championship match at Backlash, number one contender Tiffany Stratton alongside Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville takes on the champion Liv Morgan, Cora Jade, and Roxanne Perez in a big six-woman tag team matchup. And also signed for next week in Carmelo Hayes' hometown of Boston, Massachusetts. He will go one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. And get this, Trick Williams bored from ringside. Melo's got to do it alone. Gold's on the line next week in Boston. And of course, it is the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. Who is going where? Raw and SmackDown superstars under one roof in TD Garden, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time next Monday night on Raw. Well, that is all coming your way seven nights from tonight. A massive addition here on the red brand. But there is still action to come here in the scope. It is main event time from Norfolk, Virginia. And I think this is one of those rare occasions where it's time to put the kids to bed early because bad blood is about to take center stage. The harbinger of doom. The sinister destroyer. Carrying Cross. Look at the finish. What he started against the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. The interesting thing about those sentiments is Karrion Cross would tell you otherwise, would tell you that we are here tonight because of Sheamus' actions. This has been an ever-looming issue. Cross and Sheamus, two men who have seemingly always found their way back to each other over the last year here on Monday Night Raw. Whether it was Sheamus competing in a gauntlet matchup last September and Karrion Cross being one of the victims. Team Cross versus Team Sheamus at Survivor Series with Team Sheamus being the victors. Of course, the match at WrestleMania, the six-man tag where the brawling brutes are victorious. Those are just some bullet points as to what has happened between Cross and Sheamus is what has seemingly sent Cross over the edge. 
No matter what Cross would tell you, no matter what Sheamus believes, we have witnessed what has happened just over the last few weeks alone, over the last few months alone. Cross and Sheamus have been out to destroy one another, and it finally comes to a head when they are locked inside a steel cage tonight. Karrion Cross isn't going to have Scarlett in his corner. No Joe Gacy, no Baron Corbin like at WrestleMania. Sheamus coming in alone. No Bruiserweight Butch. No Ridge the Fridge. No Brawling Brutes in tow. It is one on one inside the cold and unforgiving solid steel cage here on Monday Night Raw. Sheamus fell short in his pursuit of the WWE Championship three weeks ago. A loss that went from bad to worse. Thanks to that man, vengeance has gotta be on the mind of Sheamus tonight. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes, from Dublin, Ireland, swing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Well, you know, this is not the first time, obviously, goes without saying that Sheamus and Cross have been in the ring with each other, not just in multi-man matches, but in one-on-one -on -one as well. But the stakes couldn't be any higher, and the danger couldn't loom any nearer. That steel cage gonna be lowered in moments. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Pinfall submission or escape the cage, the only way to be the victor here tonight in the scope. It has been an action-packed evening here on Monday Night Raw as we look ahead to an action-packed week next week with the draft in Boston and then, of course, backlash in San Juan, Puerto Rico. That is then. This is now. The cage has been lowered. The bell has sounded. Karrion Cross and Sheamus in your highly anticipated main event. Gotta imagine these two men are gonna come out swinging. Jesus! Right off the opening bell, Sheamus comes in contact with the steel. And you know, the Celtic Warrior, really the mastermind between this cage here tonight. We saw what happened last week, carrying Cross with a victory over our truth here on Monday Night Raw. Sheamus tried to really get an edge on carrying Cross, not only get a sense of payback, but surround the ring with this cage. That way, Cross couldn't escape. Unfortunately, Sheamus took his eye off the ball for a slight moment and it came back to haunt him. Cross was the one leaving Sheamus laying seven nights ago. Will the result be the same here tonight in Norfolk? Sheamus with this backbreaker on carrying Cross in the early going. But Steel Cage obviously there to keep any competitors out and at least keep these men in until they try to make an escape if they do. Can of course be used as a weapon as we have already seen. Sheamus come in contact with the cold hard fencing and now an exploder into the corner. This match will not be for the weakened heart, I rest assured. Harry Crow, wait a minute, hold that thought inside cradle by Sheamus. And only a one count that time. Referee John Cone calling it from the outside. Certainly not enough elbow room with that steel cage surrounding the ring for a referee to be out of harm's way. And I'll tell you, the ultimate payback for Sheamus tonight would be getting the victory once more on Carrying Cross. As we're seeing here, Sheamus calling for the door to be open. And it's not that Sheamus unwilling to fight Karrion Cross. Sheamus never won to walk away from a game of fisticuffs, but Sheamus knows that the only way to end this rivalry once and for all, get the harbinger of doom, the thorn that he has been in the side of Sheamus, gone once and for all, is to defeat him here tonight. Easier said than done as Sheamus once again comes in contact with the cage into the bridge. And this is going to be brutality at its finest. Quite frankly, I don't think Karrion Cross would have it any other way. Cross may have been praying to whatever gods he believes in. But the fact that Sheamus instituted this steel cage last week could end up coming back to haunt Sheamus. Could be a blessing in disguise for that sinister destroyer. Tonight may be the night that Sheamus once again hands carrying Cross a loss, and Sheamus finally buries the hatchet on this ever looming issue. As we mentioned, these two men, they were involved in a handful of singles matches around this time last year. 
have traded victories in each and every one of them. Sheamus pin carrying Cross at the end of a gauntlet matchup. Back in September for Sheamus to earn a WWE Championship match. That was a loss that really sent Karrion Cross over the edge, left him feeling embarrassed after he could have beat a broken Celtic Warrior in the middle of Monday Night Raw. Those issues eventually led to Cross and Sheamus leading teams at Survivor Series. Karrion Cross got a little bit sidetracked as Kevin Owens was his sole focus for quite some time. On the road to WrestleMania, these two men locked horns again as Cross was looking to use Sheamus as a stepping stone. And of course, the Celtic Warrior never won to lay down for anybody. Couple of backbreakers. Cross is going to feel those on Tuesday morning. Into the cover again, carrying Cross getting the shoulder up. Going to take a lot more, I think, for either one of these superstars to keep each other down tonight on Raw. Again, ladies and gentlemen, what a night it is going to be. The TD Garden in Boston next week. Is, wait a minute, hold that thought. Sheamus once again calling for the door. Walk right out the door, down to the floor. Both feet touch. You are the victor. Sheamus wants to end this thing once and for all. Victory is the only way to do it. Cross with other plans. Doomsday Saito. The Celtic warrior Sheamus may be knocked out cold. Another kick out, I believe it was only a one count that time. And carrying Cross, looking to bring Doomsday upon Sheamus' career. Oh, wait a minute. A couple of closed fists. I think Sheamus might have been busted open on the last one. I think Cross realizes it. Might be trying to open up that wound even more. If that is the case, we got to see it in our different vantage point. Yeah, Sheamus busted wide open, but able to reverse cross that time and send him into the cage. Now a cover. And another kick out this time. One of two things is going to happen for the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Either the wound that has been opened up is going to oh, oh, hold that thought. Another bro kick. Sheamus into the pinfall. Feet on the ropes. So much action to keep up with here. Sheamus with the bro kick and very uncharacteristically put the feet up on the ropes. I don't think Sheamus gives a damn about bending the rules when there are no rules inside a steel cage. As long as he can stick it to carry and cross, Sheamus may be smiling from ear to ear with a point in hand when this show's all set and done. And carry it cross with the sidestep and the reversal. As we were about to say moments ago, one of two things is going to happen for Sheamus with that open wound. He's either going to be the prey for carrying cross, who's going to be a shark that smells blood in the water, who is going to try to attack that open wound, or Sheamus is going to smell it himself, use it as fire underneath of him to try to get him going here. All remains to be seen, but in a steel cage matchup where there are no, are no rules, all is fair in love and war, especially between these two men who have stopped at nothing to try to destroy each other over the last few months. A mean boot scrape by Cross. Ladies and gentlemen, next Monday Night on Raw, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, TD Garden, Boston, Massachusetts, is the draft lottery. It is also the night that Carmelo Hayes will challenge Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. Trick Williams going to be banned from ringside. Liv Morgan, Cora Jade, and Roxanne Perez go 3v3 against Tiffany Stratton, Chelsea Green, and Sonya Deville. Meanwhile, Karrion Cross has got Sheamus down and out. Cross may be looking to escape the cage. Easier said than done. Gotta imagine how difficult it is to scale the side of the cage wall when you've been through a brutal war already with a fighter like Sheamus. Especially after that bro kick a few minutes ago, the equilibrium might be thrown off a bit. And did you hear Cross crack up against the cage and then fall out of the canvas? And here comes the Celtic Warrior trying to build momentum. In the middle of the scope, live here on Monday Night Raw. 
Sheamus failed to win the WWE Championship a few weeks ago, but it would be a nice feather in the cap if he can bury the hatchet with Karrion Cross tonight in his way in the middle of a war inside a steel cage. Tilt the world, down goes Karrion Cross. Certainly did not expect collar and elbow tie ups and headlocks in this matchup. These two engaging in a war of fisticuffs, live rounds, looking for their pound of flesh inside an unforgiving steel structure. Belly to back by Sheamus into the cover. John Cone calling it from the corner, but it's only a one count, I believe. See the pace of the matchup starts to slow down just a little bit. As fatigue starts to set in, obviously sooner than it normally would. We are surrounded by these cage walls, and Sheamus just trying to stack the offense right now. Oh, and Cross bounces up with a high knee. Now Cross again, looking to scale the side of the steel cage. Will Cross be able to escape? Sheamus on a knee. Sheamus trying to play catch up. Now wait a minute, Cross could be near in victory here. Sheamus trying to stop him. Both these men in a precarious situation, if I say so myself. Carrying Cross on top. Oh my goodness. Carrying with a cross body from the top of the cage. This has got to be it. Cross, straight jacket on a broken, beaten, and bloody Celtic warrior. It is now or never. If Sheamus has anything left in the tank, it's time to empty it. Sheamus has got to dig down deep, trying to find a way to get Cross off his back. The straight jacket locked in tight, but Sheamus is still swinging. Sheamus not looking for his final chapter to be written in blood by hands of Karrion Cross. A Celtic Cross. Will that do it? And the count of two. How close was that? Karrion Cross with the shoulder up. And Sheamus says, fine, if I can't get the three count, I'll try to escape. Or maybe other plans. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum swings here on Monday Night Raw, and now it's Karrion Cross looking to scale the corner, trying to use both sides to hold him up. Trying to keep keep your equilibrium while wow, you're old oh man. Why you're scaling the cage? Easier said than done. Did you see Karrion Cross take a mean fall? Looks like he got tangled up in the ropes in the corner. Sheamus has still got that target on his forehead. Not a wound that is gonna seal up in 24 hours, that's for sure. Misses off the knee. Both these men continue to jock for position in this steel cage main event. And the bridge goes cross. Sheamus with a kick out once more. Sheamus may have kicked out, might have survived, but certainly is not thriving by the looks of it. Cross could be going for the escape once more. Man, just try to get your feet locked in that cage. Easier said than done. Believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Cross now on top of the steel cage. Will he be able to muscle himself over? Meanwhile, the stress of knowing Sheamus is on his tail. Cross trying to get himself over without losing his balance and taking a career-ending fall. Sheamus throwing some hands. A little bit more. The Celtic Warrior still got something left in the tank. Who is going to reach the finish line first? Both these men on the top. Karrion Cross falls possibly to his demise. Sheamus scale in the cage. Sheamus may be near in victory. Does he have it here? Cross now in hot pursuit of the Celtic Warrior. Cross engaging with a closed fist. Again, make it three times. Just trying to drag Sheamus all across the steel. Body wounds certainly gonna reveal themselves between these two superstars. Oh no, Cross. Power bomb to Sheamus. 
and back to scaling the steel cage. Cross tried to no avail. Sheamus tried to no avail. These two men in a race to the finish line. Cross on top. Sheamus once again trying to stop him dead in his tracks. What is going to happen here? This is a precarious situation for both men. Oh no! Sheamus getting knocked off once more. Sheamus trying to crawl to, the, crawl to the corner, use the ropes to get to his feet. But it may be too late. Carrying Cross is over. Cross scaling the cage. And the Harbinger of Doom has won this matchup. Carrying Cross simply survived the steel cage tonight. Cross simply ran through the ribbon, passing the finish line first. A brutal fight between these two men that was a long time coming, but the last laugh goes to that sinister destroyer. Sheamus sitting in his demise, holding the unfortunate defeat in his hands. But the victor on an ominous night here on Monday Night Raw, the Harbinger of Doom, Carrying Cross. Join us next Monday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the 2024 Draft Lottery, plus the Intercontinental Championship on the line right here on Monday Night Raw.